This is the true story of the E people's most cherished musical instrument. To some, this instrument is a close friend, a relative, and a way to express one's innermost feelings of pain, longing, happiness, and love. Of the 56 ethnic classifications in the People's Republic of China, the Yi are the seventh largest populous group and are primarily located in Yunnan, Sichuan, Guizhou, and Guangxi provinces. There are many divisions within the Yi category, and the language, clothing designs, and cultural practices vary from place to place. I first became interested in the Yi people and culture in summer of 2011 when I participated in the Fire Torch Festival at Old Medicine Mountain in northern Yunnan province. Old Medicine Mountain is located below Haban Mountain near the Tiger Leaping Gorge in Yunnan province. <laughs> At the time of this filming, the area was still very remote, with little to no phone service, bathrooms, or shower. It's even more difficult to access when you discover the road has been blocked off. This is my tenth time visiting Old Medicine Mountain, and every time I return, it feels like a family reunion. <laughs> Their dazzling attire, bright smiles, and exceptionally hospitable nature are features that first attracted me to the group. It wasn't long before I discovered that the E people practice one of the most unique and beautiful forms of musical expression that I have ever heard. The instrument is known as the mouth harp, also referred to as the juice harp or jaws harp. Aside from singing, mouth harp music is the most widespread and commonly found musical form in the world. Yet in traveling to more E villages and towns, it quickly became clear that for them, the mouth harp is much more than just a simple piece of brass or bamboo used to make music. Today, many people fear that the mouth harp culture may be a diversion extinction. <laughs> Being a master's degree student in ethnomusicology at the time, I teamed up with Professor Iwi to learn more about the mysterious mouth harp instrument that many people spoke so passionately about. The E are always willing to go above and beyond to host guests, even preparing a pig for the evening's welcoming feast. I do consider Old Medicine Mountain to be my home in China. I even have a dear friend, Jia Jia, who
who I refer to as my e-mother. Since all three of her sons are required to go to boarding school, Jaja must solely bear the responsibility of completing the manual labor and household chores. Jaja was the first person I ever met who could play the mouth harp. Her knowledge about the instrument's history and role in e-culture is very extensive. At the age of 13, Jaja began learning how to play the mouth harp from her grandfather. Similar to most e women, when it came time to marry, Jaja moved far away to her husband's village. In solitary moments of longing for her hometown and family, Jaja frequently plays the mouth harp as a way to express her sorrow. For the past decade, Jaja has been playing a melody in remembrance of her late husband's tragic death in a tungsten mine. Everyone in the village remembers the sacrifice Jaja's husband made. He is revered as a local hero. The sadness Jaja feels from her husband's death is not conveyed verbally, but rather through the mellow tones of her brass mouth harp. After visiting my E family and friends in Old Medicine Mountain, I'm ready to learn more about what the mouth harp means to E people in China. Legend has it that one year there was a terrible drought. Humans were almost dying of thirst. So young men and women traveled over mountain passes in search of a spring to try and rescue their fellow villagers. They looked for a full seven days and nights. An exceptionally smart and beautiful girl finally discovered a spring, and everyone was Suddenly, she was bitten by a venomous snake. Her lover came and killed the snake with a machete. He treated her wounds with herbs. At that moment, she could not speak, and in order to express her affection, she cut down some bamboo made a mouth harp, and substituted it for speech. Since then, e-girls have mimicked her, and the mouth harp has thus been passed down to girls for generations. Legend has it that there was a good-natured and hard-working mother. She 
had two beautiful daughters. They were a delightful and harmonious family. But sadly, the two daughters passed away. The lone mother went to the top of a mountain to fetch the strongest bamboo. She made two thin strips of bamboo, and it was just like the two daughters were nestled by her side forever. Every time she remembered her daughters, she would take out her mouth harps and gently play them. The bamboo released a low and captivating melody, as if the two daughters were whispering. These two pieces gradually evolved into the mouth harps we know today. Long ago, there was a young girl who married a man from a faraway village. She would often stand on a ridge overlooking the new land and would long for her family. Once again, she heard the mournful sound of the wind blowing a strip of bamboo. It was as if she was talking to herself. Thus, she hid the bamboo in a case close to her chest. Whenever she was homesick, she would take it out and speak. Her descendants mimicked her, and the strip of bamboo gradually became her mouth. <音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音> We were given the rare opportunity to see the construction process of a bamboo mouth heart made from scratch. 
First, you want to select bamboo that's usable for making a mouth harp. The best material is a reed that grew on top of a pile of rocks and was exposed to sunlight. Cut according to the texture and along the bamboo's grain line. Cut the proper length and width for the bamboo fan. Generally, the length of the strip will be within about 10 centimeters. Then, according to your proportions, cut out the head, body, and handle. Then you want to put the reed back into position and carefully make a mark. Every step of the mouth harp construction process is very important, but the most important detail is digging out the tongue of the reed. First you must dig out all of the excess bamboo. Then make a subtle incision on the back of the reed. The mouth harp is not only played in times of sorrow, but also in times of joy when recounting fond memories and feelings of nostalgia. Li Lingtren owns his own e-music and clothing shop in Yongren, Yunnan. He is the only person we found able to play the five-fan bamboo mouth harp. Li also plays multiple flute, chord reed, and plucked string instruments. Uh, 
，三哥不准在家里没擦。假如是三哥你在家里没擦，你太野蛮了。你对家人不尊重，对你的爱人不尊重，不能在在家里没擦，村子里面你不能擦。假如说你在村子里面擦，要罚款的，过去家有家规，村有村。村规没有的，你不可能随便在在在村里面的乱哼乱唱、唱歌的，对起头来那不像话。但是改唱过来啊，啊，我突然又发现它是一种文化，其实没有什么封建，是吧？唱山歌也是一种文化，一种音乐，一种文化。现在是，只要你学业，随时你可以唱。但人类思想不断的变化，它还是跟着时代潮流走。啊，嗯，你，国民党是国民党，共产党是共产党，啊，但人也跟着时代潮流走。现在又改变了，你那些原始的现在，他们不会弹，不会吗？<笑>他们不会弹出来什么声音声调吧？他们弹不出来，这个东西，没有人弹再弹了。失传了这个东西，才有我到处去唱嘛，才有我希望嘛。一般的人找也找不到，可能我第一曲弹的那些弦乐还还有人会弹，但是找不到这个东西。他他学的机会没有得了，是吧？水上的来，蜜蜂本为采花时，两双不为主人抬。咦啊，上对上来，爱对爱，小花哥照哥不来。首先要叫音，嗯，对对对对，音调好调子，弹出来才有味道。嗯<笑>
Mark Wolf Wall is probably the most popular e mouth part musician to work. Mark Wolf Wall has traveled abroad for performances in Germany and Hollywood, among others. Her breath control and playing technique are superb, and her compositions display a breadth of creativity and skill. Mark Wolf Wall has set a new standard for mouth part music. She currently lives in Lijiang and teaches students from all over the world how to play the mouth. Then 一片口诀
Didi Aha has been making mouth harps at his home in Lama Village since he was a teenager. He even makes his own brass slab to begin the construction process by melting the outer layer of a battery and scraps of copper. The thickness of the slab determines the register of the instrument's tone. A thinner slab will result in a higher register, and a thicker slab will result in a lower register. The length of the tongue determines the exact pitch. Didi will often heat the tongue portion of the mouth harp to make it more flexible, allowing the sound to resonate for a longer duration. Mouth harp construction is a skill that has been passed down by males in his family for countless generations and experts in the region recognize the perfection of his craft. <laughs> Sakai is home to Mosa Nihu, another expert at making brass mouth parts. Multiple hammer, knife, scissor, and wrench tools are used to make the best quality mouth art. After a thin slab is cut, the slab is beat with a hammer to make it flat and even. The V shape of the tongue is carved, and the sides are hammered inward. The knife is used to scrape the underside of the mouth harp to allow for more flexibility and to adjust the pitch. The longer the length of the tongue, the longer the tongue will vibrate when plucked. Miniature tools are used to smooth out the tongue. It's the tongue's vibration within the open space of the mouth harp that produces the pitch. Therefore, you want the space in between the body and the tongue to be as thin as possible without obstructing the sound. Morse's 25 years of expertise is evident in the moment you pluck one of his brass mouth hearts. Thank you.
对，就是感谢他说的一样，当时就朋友，当时就在这个母亲一样。哦。嗯，对，是，确实。这个是，这个科学是，做我们自己的说，就是自己的内心来表达出来。刚才说的，说的内容是比较悲哀的吧？悲伤的。不用说。啊，这个昆曲是，特别是个新奇朋友，还要他要更更好。本身说就是要想要想他，他的时候就是要心里要多舒服一点。But to what extent is the e m a l t a r p culture really dying out? We traveled to Butuo and explored the bustling marketplace to try and find some answers. While we were filming, we were told that a mall is being built in the center of town. And soon these vendors will have to find a new place to sell their goods. We even got the chance to talk with Mzutia, a e man who has not cut or washed his hair for over 20 years. The e people believe that the top fringe part of a man's hair is representative of their soul and well-being. Therefore, Mzutia does not cut or shave his head as a way to ward off illness. We soon discovered a gold mine of malparts at one of the marketplace entrances. We found that in Butuo, it's not uncommon to find people selling and playing mouth harps that they made themselves. E girls also play the mouth harp in a friendly, competitive call and response playing style. In this case, one sister would challenge the other by playing a pattern or melody and asking her to mimic it.
Jili Mazuja is an outstanding representative of Xichang Naupart playing. Her creative compositions often have a lively tempo, which seem to reflect the fast-paced life of Liangshan's most rapidly developing city. I traveled to Jiaozhui County in search of people who could play or sell the mouth harp. I could tell the mouth harp culture here was very abundant just by the fact that when we stopped the car at a scenic spot, a random passerby was able to play the three and four fan mouth harp. Just like Fu Tuo, there were several people selling mouth harps on the street, but we still had difficulty finding a young person who could play the instrument. However, there were still a surprising number of elderly women who knew how to play. Their initial reluctance quickly turned to excitement, and soon crowds were forming with women eager to show off their mouth heart playing skills. One woman, Aza, plays the mouth harp exceptionally well. Aza told us that, like many of her friends growing up, she was very poor. Therefore, the mouth harp was an affordable form of entertainment that was also portable and convenient when herding livestock or working in the fields. Huan Qing has the largest private collection of mouth harps I have ever seen, many of which he has collected from friends throughout the years. He has taken great interest in various mouth harp cultures from around the world. <laughs> Yeah. 
，那一辈子两片的果，这就是两片。嗯，还可以是另外一个一个调。就口弦心调的那个，呃，的一个一个音符，一个音符。Aside from Ma Guo Guo's daughter, we were still unable to find any young Yi people who were able or willing to play the mouth harp. A clear generation gap exists between people who can and cannot play the mouth harp. Finding someone in their twenties or younger proved to be quite a challenge. One young, curious onlooker observed our recording. I could tell she was anxiously waiting for a chance to perform. After much convincing by her relatives, she shared with us her gift of musical expression. <laughs> As I watched this 24-year-old girl completely absorbed in her performance, I felt more optimistic for the mouth harp's future than ever before. The mouth harp is a distinctive symbol that represents a larger sense of e collective identity. When one carries the mouth harp by their chest, they are also carrying with them a lifetime of memories and sentiments. For many, it is an extension of the body and soul. In this way, the mouth harp is an instrument that transcends time and place, connecting generations of e with their ancestors. Even though fewer people are playing the mouth harp today than in times past, the cultural importance of the instrument in the eyes and ears of the Yi people 
is still as resonant as ever. Ah, tu vois, c'est bien de